there we go with our Peruvian Derby, our Night Elf Mirror, with a decision of who's going to be the best South American in this qualifier. Walter versus Hunter, a battle that we've seen uh, five times already so far. Hunter is 5-0 and oh in series. They face each other in uh, WCG regional qualifiers. Hunter won there. In the Team Rage Cup, the clan internal battle, Hunter won there. In the American Cup by Geno Z, Hunter won that final. And in the past WGL qualifiers, actually, that was the grand final. Hunter defeated him 3-0. and oh. So the chances look really, really good for uh, the poor fella, the guy who just parked the bad luck. Hurt foot, hurt leg, being robbed, being attacked, every that, all of that good stuff happening uh, to Hunter in China. So maybe it's a good thing if he's not qualifying. But yeah, as I said in the pregame talks, Peru was a dominating force from 2016 to 2000 and like now actually, but now North America with their great players, Cruncher, Hitman, HTRT, stepping it up even in the absence of Long Walk. We have another new sub here, another anonymous user gifting another sub, this time to Thierry Henri 4. Thank you very much, man. So Concealed Hills is our first map. It's again a best of three, so first to win two maps <coughs> is going to the lower bracket semi-final. Hunter had a tough road so far as... Uh, he was defeated by Cruncher, 2-0, lost the first map to Pride as well, but then finally starting to kick in. Uh, winning on Last Refuge and Twisted Meadows in a pretty fast game on Twisted, I think. As it was uh, both players going for one hero only. Creeping starts. Both with a keeper, no Demon Hunter plays. From the Peruvian, I still kind of expect Demon Hunters. I don't know, they're all ways a little slower to adapt to the meta. A player's forces are under attack. So Hunter in the blue, creeping the turtles, which is easily doable with the treants. And Walter starts the gambling. Ring of protection for him. Hunter on the other side with the circlet, so a slightly better start. Thanks, guys, for being uh, so appreciative of what we do. As we drop below 1,000 viewers because it's a Night of Mirror. <laughs> These guys know each other inside out. Uh, they know each other in real life as well, if I'm not mistaken. And Tom of Knowledge only. So, better start for Hunter. As he got the turtles already. Um, still the crabs. Up here, the street route with the shop and the crab should give level 3. Walter is doing the same. Lost a lot of mana already, even using an entangle on the magi. Okay, no harass, nowhere. Walter on the other side won his first round match against OC 2 0, but then received the 2 0 defeat to the hands of HTRT. And the anonymous user continues to be very gracious. Thank you for gifting the sub to Cappuccino. Three subs in a row. I like. Also, no tone of experience here, but the tone of intelligence is rather nice as well. 28 supply for Walter, 26 for Hunter. Uh, for, for Hunter. Tree of Life coming. And again. A laderish Huntress Hall. Forces are under attack. Hunter on the other side, playing it also without a Huntress Hall. Are they going mass archers? Didn't expect it from them, actually. But this is the matter at the moment. Just massing those archers. I like how he has two Wisps here for detonating against Treants. But Walter, um, one of his camps is being stolen to the hands of Hunter, who had the better start, who continues to have a better game. Invul Potion and the big experience. Level 3.6 right the there. No Alchemist at the moment. SG2 is not finished, okay. So Walter again, a little 
like moving out a little too fast. Hunter already with tier two. And just simply arches. Good experience lead on Hunter already, so he can absolutely afford to go for the second hero. But this is the game winning move maybe for Walter. If this thing finishes and he has the time to get it up. Second laboratory for Hunter. Does this map have a marketplace? Nope. Only Echo Isles and Northern Isles are the maps. Second engine of war by Walter. Is under siege. Nature's blessing coming in for Hunter. Solo experience on the Alchemist. That's almost level two for him. Oh, lines up perfectly with the scroll of the beast as well. Increases the chance to knock down this tree. But a little bit of catching up in experience, at least. But so you can see the difference on the alchemist. You can see the difference on the keeper. Good scouting by Hunter as well. Hunter's Hall now, by the way, and heal spray for the Peruvian in the blue. The first fight. Acid Bomb on both armies. No upgrades yet. Walter with the faster Hunter's Hall and the faster second engine of war. But Expo stands. There's not much damage. Like piercing doesn't do too much. Treants do. So the Entangled Gold Mine is delayed. This is still 400 gold that Hunter did not invest. We have a big tree battle here. Mostly going onto the side of Walter. Entangle on this Alchemist. So he's out of the fight for now. That's a big upgrade, man. He's just shooting through these treants. But... Oh, actually... Scroll the Beast still running for a bit. Plus four. Five treants. Walter's well, gotta be careful. There's no wisp for repair, I guess. And also no wisp for detonate. That's a big mistake. That's a big, 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 big mistake. This expo is down. Without any losses. Keeper out of the fight as well. TP out. Easy game for Hunter so far. And I guess with that win here, Expo coming up. Yep, there we saw it for a brief second. Here we go again. Double Engine of War as well, plus a later Hunter's Hall. No upgrades yet for Walter, but still can go for the Drake. Again, not dragging them out. To get Sobi Mask. Sweet. And 43 supply. But backstab. Where's the Alchemist? Absolutely needs that. Doesn't want to face Walter with a back against the fountain. Could be a decent chance, actually, for Walter to turn this game around as he's re establishing this expansion. But first, Archer falls. Both. Oh, Walter's losing one Archer after the next. The Hunter's Hall didn't pay off, the Expansion didn't pay off, and his Keeper is very bruised as well. He has to TP out. Ooh, Walter taking a beating. It's more than enough time for this Expo to finish. On the other side, it's at 50%. Uh, once again, the Anonymous user coming in with a gifted sub to TSPSH. Or, as I would pronounce it, tsipsh. Battle for the scrolls. Walter gets it. And this is once again too much. Can't repair in that state. Down it is. He can use one or, uh, lose one or two... Archers here, no problem. Big detonates. Man, Hunter is playing this a lot better. 
player's forces are under attack. First attack upgrade though for Walter. He must go for more archers though. No level 3 on neither alchemist. Level 4, 4 on both. Hunter has to creep this. That's why he's retreating and why it's good that he's retreating. More archers here. Does he have upgrades already? Mm, yep. 1-0 for him too. Walter has lumber problems even. Trying to go for this expo again. Macro mistake <coughs> by Hunter though. Not starting the creep. We've seen this in this game against Cruncher as well. B building that expo, but no follow up. Red spot goes to Walter. War song battle drums. Yes, baby. Plus two. Finally going for it. So much change for me. I was watching the Asian Panda back then. Yeah, the times they are changing. Walter, by the way, getting the third rat spot. Hunter is giving him way too much time. Lionhorn, also nice against Acid Bomb. I can only repeat myself. This item got a bit more value since the Rise of the Alchemist started. Treant's coming in for attack, but he can't stop that anymore. A player's forces are under attack. 1-1 one, one upgrade. But Walter is basically on 2-1 with Warsong Battle Drums and the Devotion Aura. 4.5 for both of them. Heal Scroll count. One on each. Big Invul though. And the Pendant of Energy. Nice. Is that game deciding? Walter still has the better items and auras. But lots of kills again. Oh boy. Two kills immediately. Alchemist super tanky, by the way. It was plus six arm walls. And I like how he opened that path for a scroll of protection. Does Walter have wisps? Doesn't seem like it. Big Congo line. He's forgetting about the wisp in the north. Scroll of protection now. Big focus on this alchemist. Forces him into the invul potion soon, but trying to counter focus. There's no consumable on Walter's side, and Hunter realizing this smartly blocked by the stones. Oh boy. This two armor upgrades in scroll and the one upgrade paying off so hard. Supply is equal. But I guess Hunter still has the better chances. Finally, the wisps are coming in. But the duration of the scroll of protection is almost over. Still, Alchemist survives. No mana anymore, though. Three archers not taking part in this fight. More archers coming from the north. Walter 2-0. Basically 3-1 at this point. His expo? Running. Even mining more than Hunter. OC leads 1-0 against Deuce, by the way, in the other lower bracket round 1. Double heal scroll now for Walter. And zero for Hunter. Dude, this Walter turning this around. Supply is equal. But the army is better for Walter. Mana looks way better for Hunter though. That's why he's retreating a little. A player's Going for armor upgrades attack. now as well. Finishing the 2-1. Builds a shop. Oh, smart move by Walter. He absolutely needs clarities or potions. W with the expansion, he should be able to do it. Acid Bomb did a nice job in the back, actually. Both heal scrolls still up. A 
shop is at one third. Ooh, Alchemist has uh, had to go for some healing. Counter focus again. Heal scroll against this. Oh, he's trying to block him in with Moon Wills, but that kind of fails. Wanted to be stylish. Didn't really work. Alchemist both about to die. No one. Oh, there's one consumable. Can he swap something? There's no staff or Walter. <sighs> the next heal scroll. A savior. And now level four. Does he have another asset bomb? No, he doesn't. With his back against the fountain now. Hunter's Moonwell gets cancelled for sure. Level 5 from the Keeper of the Grove. One kill away is Walter. And he gets it. Oh boy. Toe to toe. Now he has clarities. 60 supply for Walter. 51 for Hunter. Again, the big favorite in this is struggling. 5-4 against 5-3, but it's close. Heal scroll and protection scroll go to Hunter. This is a neck and neck Knight of Mirror if I ever saw one. Scrolls for Walter now. Not going for the protections. 2-2 two, two coming. Hunter always a little behind when it comes to upgrades, plus the Warsong battle drums and the Devotion Aura. Would still love to see a staff. Not going for it. Stays at 60. Invests a lot into consumables. Gives Hunter the time to catch up in Archer numbers. Wisps on the main again. Deforestation is real. Look at this. So many... So many trees gone. Makes it a little harder to go for treants in the fights. But Walter gets it. Scroll protection used immediately. Acid bomb not hitting too much. That could have been done better. Dispels are coming in from both sides. Detonates are good but not perfect. And Walter has a huge treants lead. Shuts down the shop as well. There's still detonates ready. Oh, needs them now. What does he dispel? Oh, the treants, I guess. Yep. And uh, sc the scroll protection is over. Thousand gold for Walter. Still a mana potion. Still a lot of heal cards and a mana potion on the keeper as well. Oh, this is not looking good for Hunter. It's getting worse and worse and worse. The items are helping out a lot. He's still in the back. Or heal spray, actually. Ooh, trying to concave the archers now. Hunter is dropping below 50 supply. Walter, this has to be a hero focus. He's trying to, but nice micro. Saving them all to the back. Now the Alchemist forced into an invo. Yes, he is. But more and more archers dying. Walter on the way to the 1 0. Level 5 Alchemist. All the trump cards in the hand of Walter. GG. Well played. There we go. Again, Hunter is one map away from being eliminated. As we've seen in the lower bracket. Ouch. You cannot, you cannot give your opponents three red spots. Not allowed. He got good items, of course. Won't argue with that. But he earned those items. What does it do? What does it do to the mind of Hunter being with his back against the wall again? In the lower bracket round one, 
He had uh, balls of steel. Neo, it's unbelievable how much you're casting these days. Fattest compliment. <laughs> Thank you, man. It could be the first time in the history of professional Warcraft that Walter defeats Hunter. Duro says it, the Pandora's box is real. Two humans in the winner's final and either Walter or Hunter is out. It's always unpredictable what happens in these American qualifiers. OC still leading over Deuce as far as I know. So it could be Hitman versus OC in our last series of the day. Terra stand it is. And Hunter, like, what was up with his macro again? Building that expansion and not using it for minutes? Questionable. He had the chance. To go back and creep it. But that way was a lot better for Walter. Both players ready. The decision might be made here. Hunter was the big, 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 big favorite going into this. Walter in the red, Hunter in the blue. Hunter facing elimination, Walter one step away from the lower bracket semi-final. Will it be Archer War again? Will it be Keeper Mirror again? Or does one of the players decide to go for a Demon Hunter this time? Imagine a Demon Hunter level 4 in all those archers. He's gonna wreck them. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what happened? Okay, yeah. The hunter disconnects. Hunter and the disconnects, man. A story for the ages. Good that it happened in the early stages, man. Very good that it happened in the early stages. And not later after the first item drops. So we restart this. Of course. Fair play between the two. Nothing happened. So let's go into map number two. It's getting extremely hot in here and I have no idea why. It should be pretty cold, whatever. Hey Neo, looking fresh as fuck as always. Thanks for casting and making my Saturday night fun even though I'm sick. You're the best. Thank you very much, man. And uh, bless you. Get well soon. I know that feel. I don't know if I look so fresh, but thanks. <laughs> Killy3210 for the two month resub. Much appreciated. Neo is like the godfather of War 3, the reason why this game is alive in the West. Aww, people getting, uh, people getting really, really nice. Chat in the past few days was really horrible, so glad to see you appreciating this. 
waking up watching Back to Warcraft today, and on the end of the day, there's Back to Warcraft. What a great Saturday. Yeah, we're casting around the clock at the moment. Nia, would you help Remo to escape jail? He's gonna be back tomorrow. You're still online from this morning? No, no, I took a little break in like the afternoon to sleep. Thank you, Kraken. For the host. So, Keeper and Keeper. No Demon Hunter surprise here. I was kind of looking forward to it. But we have a different creep route. Which is a mercenary camp for Walter. Which I think is the better idea. And Hunter far away from the natural. That will take some time. I like that he plays it safe and stuff, but... The town is under siege. I mean... With Lightning Shield, this should be better. He's already chasing the Wisp away. It should be faster, you get a bit consumable. A player's and Merc Access, so... Kind of... Like, in some matchups, it's risky to go for this. Because it can be punished, but not really. Not in Night Elf Mirror. Both are focusing on their creeping. Wait, why is the lightning shield gone? Did Hunter detonate in the end? Oh boy, I need to focus more. There's another one. I uh, think he can't go for that. Or oh, did he dispel it on the archer? I think he dispelled it on the archer, right? First, I don't know. Talisman of Evasion and level 2 for Hunter. Greater mana, of course. Man, someone wants Hunter to be eliminated from this qualifier. These item drops for Walter are insane. Tech has started. Despite... Oh! Wait, wait. He's expanding on tier 1. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. Going for the lightning shield now. But this will be punished. And this is why this late Murkham creep spot is not the greatest. Can he get a last hit? Okay, greater mana here as well. Of course there's an experience lead, but he stole this one. Shadow Priest on Hunter's side as well. Could be entangled now. This Shadow Priest is definitely falling. Gets an archer in return. Shadow Priest dispels a little, but no usability in the fights. Well, uh, Hunter has to invest in Entangle. Still should be a save, though. Oh, no. Invests another Entangle. The Greater Mana is already gone. And if Walter sees this expansion, he can still cancel it, right? Two archers? He sees it. Ah, oh, light time! He must see it. Okay. Gets rid of that wisp and brings in a berserker. This could be game already. Nice save by Hunter, though. With that wisp, he can't really go for Treants. Another Shadow Priest here. Little Miss Macro. But the tech for Walter was a lot faster. Half a tech. He has no expansion, though. And Walter is getting ready for a big, big, big push. A player's forces are Level 3 for him. Wand of the Wind? Mm, not too great, actually. In this matchup. No turn of experience, but level 3. More mercs. He's pulling wisps as well. More archers, too. Is Hunter ready? No level 3. He's getting that fast, but this is so risky. Starting the shop when he knows that Walter is near. And when he knows that Walter has so many mercs. Okay, at least he gets level 3. There's no dust, right? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hancho got the dust. That's nice. But it's a 10 supply lead already. It was the wisp detonated the thing. Okay. But the expo is starting to pay off soon. Still a good shot for Walter to push this. He's still holding on to the greater mana. That might have been the biggest mistake for Hunter to use that early. Hunter's Hall coming as well. Tier 2 is done. Alchemist ready for Walter. No chance for an Alchemist now. I mean, he's sending a Wisp. But upon arrival, it can just be focused. Big Acid Bomb hitting 6 units. How long can Hunter hold this? It seems overwhelming. Alchemist comes in. There is another Entangle. Big Mana was used, but he's down in Mana, actually. He invested that in a lot of Treants. Another sub gifted by the anonymous users. Thank you very much again. Hunter has to hold on. Shop is coming up in the back. The problem is his his engines of war are here. Or his engine of war is here. Second one not coming up. Nowhere. Double shop though. But his production building is separated from his army. So these poor archers have to walk across Walter's army the entire time. Reinforcements for Walter are of course arriving safely. This is not looking good. I think Hunt... Oh, Hero Focus was nice, though. Can't get in. Can't swap the TP. And there's no mana for revenge. Maybe some time to breathe. Maybe some time to breathe. But Hunter is supply stuck. He's not building an uh, Moonwell. Ah, there. At the expansion. Okay, that might save her. <sighs> Nail biter. Game two. I think Walter is losing his advantage though. Berserker dead. He's out. He's starting to outlevel him. He's getting quite a few archer kills. One of the wind this time. Use, but it doesn't do too much actually. There was no mana. He's just preventing a little damage. Oh boy. Decent hold so far. But one more kill. Are under Both are so low in supply. When is the alchemist coming back? That will take some time, as it seems. Not building him back from the tavern. Hunter has double income. So this must go into a lot of consumables, I guess. Level 4 for the keeper. <laughs> has a new set of treants with this. Uses the Entangle, though. Dispel immediately, but he's down to two Wisps in the main. Another potion. Speaking of income, thank you, Corex, for the 10 euro donation. Much appreciated, my man, for all the hard work here. Hunter is stabilizing another Entangle. But this has to be a TP. On both sides, actually, no. Walter stays in this for how long? needs to get out now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Archers, still a few shots, but not enough. My lord, what a mirror. This was action-packed. Now a counter-expansion. He forgot the alchemist! Oh, Walter! That's not allowed to happen. Of course, he has a big lead in... Ex oh, actually not. Not a big lead on the alchemist. Hunter just killed a so much more. It was a very, 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 very promising position that Walt was in with all the mercs, with the separation of production and army. But with the shop, Hunter holds so many potions. Oh my god. Clause plus nine now, though. Thirty-eight supply only. 
37 for Hunter, but yeah, these inventories are uh, to blame. No consumables on Walter. Hunter immediately realizing this, checking the inventory of his opponent. And this is just constantly hero focusing now. And I think that's the right thing to do, both down to 50% and lower. Is Hunter again the marathon man? Going game three, as he was in the lower bracket round one. No upgrades, of course. More detonates, burning more mana, but there's soon to be new treants. And supply wise, they are still equal. How is that possible? Ah, double heal scroll and invul. Big pickup. What? So fast this invul to not lose the alchemist. And now Walter's down with the shop. No potions for him. And this expo didn't mine a single dime. Walter has to gather all the forces. But it's not much. New mercs. Okay. But the haunted. Eh, uh, the haunted. The entangled gold mine is gone. Hunter's still on double engine of war. Getting reinforcement after reinforcements. But also Walter surviving this push. And now we have both players on two bases. Both players on good levels. It's kind of equal again. If you exclude the inventory. Of course, this game will not be given up by Hunter until his last unit falls, I guess. The best time of the year, he says, when he's in China with us. Who are most likely the last world championship before Reforged. Let's go to phone chimes. Decent dish for the Alchemist, but that's about it. Another shop for more consumables. So many of them. Not even maxing out the no, uh, no supply. Walter level 3 on the Alk. Close to level 5. Same. Almost the same for Hunter. But where is his keeper experience? It's an entire level difference. Prioritizing the alchemist hard, I guess. We will the mage eye. By the way, staffs for the first time. Walter with a double engine of war. Is there a hunter's hall? Yes. Upgrade start to kick in. Zero zero against zero zero. Oh, hunter going tier three with double lore. Is it mountain giant time? If this is not scouted, that's a default win. Hunter's transition. Okay. Not too sure why. Lots of treants. A player's forces are Big one was crept already, so it's only experience. This ancient should be fine. But he sees the hunters. Big level ups coming. Double heal scroll, protection scroll, heal potions. Walter at 60 supply. He just has to and wants to overwhelm with mass before the tech finishes. I'm not even sure if he knows about that tech. Two mountain giants coming in. Upgrades queued as well.
big acid bomb. But what are these hunters doing? They get wrecked by the archer volleys so far. I would rather see glaives actually. Supply lead in the hands of Walter. But the mountain giants are coming. There we go. We have two of them. This is the last and decisive push for Walter. Otherwise, the mountain giants will overwhelm. First engine of Wardown, but it's such a big buffer zone between the army position and the gold mine. It will take forever to kill these MGs. Nice to have hunters now, of course, against them, if you can separate them from archers. Taking, okay, upgrades are done, but not resistance skin yet. Can entangle them, but hardened skin is the most important thing. Level five keeper on both sides. Tranquility is not near. Heal scroll used. Level five, uh, level four on the alchemist. Still 64 attack. supply for hunter, 61 for Walter. Invo potion used without need, really. One more invo. Acid Bomb is doing a nice job, almost no healing right there. The longer the game goes, the more mountain giants we get and the harder it's gonna be for Walter. He's not going tier 3 for marksmanship or anything, just stays at tier 2. Can he take out the 14 supply mountain giants though? No, TP out. That did not work. Second expo by Walter, so it was a decent distraction push. But he's still stuck on tier 2. What's his solution? Again, hunters. And Hunter has the right idea. Can't be cancelled. Hello, Siege Sticks. TP in though with everything he has big acid bomb there we go onto the alchemist maybe a hero focus <laughs> he's getting rid of these mountain giants anti magic on the alchemist in the north heal spray was nice as well but here comes the heal spray on the mountain giants and that is buying so freaking much time one of them is down though what about the other one? Alchemist in trouble. No consumable on him anymore. This could be the kill for Walter's... Oh! No! Staff out! That was close. But he's out of the fight. And still taunts going off. Walter dropping in HP. Dropping in supply. He doesn't want to give this up yet. Man, one kill per second at the moment. And I guess Hunter has this. Another expansion here, and now it's time to clobber this down. No siege sticks this time. Everything is so hurt. High upkeep even. Hello sticks. And bye bye tree. Nah. Finish him. The player's forces are under attack. Is there one last push in him? Upgrades coming as well. Triple lore. <sighs> okay. Close to level 6 though. This must be the end. The backline is not providing too much damage, but siege damage against hunters is moving, is uh, going nicely. Every mountain giant can attack, but the reinforcements can't really. The positioning is fairly decent. Nutrients being summoned for extra damage against mountain giants. Who's gonna get tranquility? 
faster. Oh, again, entanglement super quickly disrupted with the invul potion. Really, really well done. 100 TPs out as this expo is up. Again, at a thousand gold despite being in high upkeep. But Walter stays in this game. And the main gold mines are down. Why does... Uh, okay, because of the... Because of the defense, he used so many wisps for detonates and stuff that he still has 500 gold here. So triple income for Hunter. But this expansion is lasting a lot longer than this one. So at one point, Hunter will be reliant on this expansion, which is kind of easier to push. And they both have equal income at this point. Because of the high upkeep. Well, once this is uh, out mine. There shouldn't be enough damage. I would really love to see Glaive Throwers. Even though they're nerfed. Who's gonna get to level 6 faster? Who's gonna get Tranquility faster? We have a mana potion only on water. He'll spray everywhere. This fight might last forever. But the Mountain Giants are still healthy! Walter in the middle of the stone people. Staffs him out again. And that's level 6 though. Alchemist falls! Ah, thanks to the Ask Bomb, ticks him down. That's level 6. That's Tranquility. That's unkillable Mountain Giants. But he has no mana for it. <laughs> but I guess in the end, it doesn't really matter. Doubling him in supply. Still hoping in for Tranquility, but he's just not killing stuff. The tier 3 was the right idea. Six mountain giants still. Is the tree running over? Like walking over? Yes, he is. Three more kills. Walter down to 40. 81 supply. Pro move. <laughs> Water is not giving this up at all. Revives the alchemist from the altar. That takes so much time. And level 6 alchemist now. He can sell so much. And I guess he's getting mana potions. Oh, he actually has no gold. But 90 supply. <laughs> Ah, you got the mana potion now. Either a lot of transmute or tranquility. Ah, both! He has mana potion on both heroes. Oh no, that's Walter. Sorry. A town is under siege. But he has the mana anyway. And Hunter moving forward to the 1-1. One, one. What's Walter thinking? Like, mass hunts will never, ever, ever win this. Even getting dryads now for the slow. And the spell. But we're kind of getting close to tranquility as well. But I guess, uh, yeah, there we go. Number one. Nothing is dying anymore as the region is so high. Finally level 6 now as well. Also has the mana potion, but boom. There we go. Did we see transmute already? Did I miss it? I'm not sure. GG. That was foreseeable. Walter dragging this out. And we get the 1-1. One, one. Tier 3 transition, boys. Tier 3 transition made this work. In the lower bracket, by the way, OC defeated Deuce. So our last game for today later will be Hitman versus OC.
Damn, that game lasted forever. Now we go into Echo Isles for the deciding map. He could have broken Hunter in the main, I think. I have to wake up in 6 hours 30, by the way. And we still have a game left. <laughs> <coughs> and we have a 13 hour cast tomorrow. But we have 1,100 viewers. I will not let you down until we have this day decided. Where the fuck is Hunter again? I think he disconnected once more. Or taking a little break or something. Yeah, in case you're tuning in late, we're going to continue streaming tomorrow at 8 a.m. for the next spring playoffs. Afterwards, H&W Masters continue. And in the end, it is the decision in the WGL American qualifier. So, Hunter is here as well. That means we go into our last map of this Night of Mirror, into the last map of the Peruvian Derby. The winner of this game... We'll continue into the lower bracket final. The loser is out and his dreams of going to Shanghai are shattered. Hunter in the blue, Walter in the red. Let's go, let's decide this. Echo Isles could be a Demon Hunter map, could be even a Naga push. Haven't seen this from the Peruvians yet. It was only Keeper Mass Archer. And the anonymous user continues his gift streak to Machiavelli. Thank you. Both with the same creep route, the normal creep route. This time, Walter not going for the mass mercs. And we take a look at the altar. Is one of them playing a demon hunter? Nope. No. The keeper... Keeper craft continues. Pass each other. Could go for dispels against the trees, but should be fine. After this match, we still have Hitman versus OC in Night Elf versus Orc, so stay tuned. When do you sleep? Always casting. I don't sleep too much. A player's forces are under attack. Circlet on both sides, fair drop, but uh, okay, 21 supply, trick by Walter, Hunter not going for that, that gives him an extra wisp.
Okay, both did it. All good, all fine. So far, a fairly slow start, right? Walter going green, green. Hunter again, Expo. Walter scouted though. Nice detonate. Getting rid of two of these treants. So uh, Hunter has to burn through all his mana very early on. While Walter can still punish this and harass this, Expo coming up early again. On Echo. But no Mercs, no where. He defended well on Terranus against Mercs. Just ignoring this. Oh, wait. He must know that there's an Expo, right? Waiting for his reinforcements. Three Archers. Forces are under attack. But I think he could have just clicked the Expo. Not... Ah, okay. No. Oh, there was a Wisp, so no. T2 tech on the way. Of course, this means that... Uh, or this expansion means that Hunter won't be able to tech. And then there could be a big push. With most likely an Alchemist. Maybe Naga. No one is going for a curveball play. A Wisp's already there for detonates. But he decides to not go for Treants. But rather detonates here. But again... Oh, Walter has Dust. Was just not in range. And now he's, all of his mana is gone. But he can still do damage. He's, he won't be able to kill it, but he can still damage. I like how Hunter is constantly distracting. And even getting the better traits for now. With less supply. Both completely burned out. Archer force is rising and especially oh Walter has to be careful both have to be careful Walter forces the TP but with only archers of course the force the damage against the tree is not that great if only he had some mercs now that he didn't go for it thank you Lufe for the prime sub shop coming Halfway through the tech, Players Expo starts to mine very soon. Staff on the Keeper. Okay. Ancient of War in the middle. Builds it proxy. That's almost all in. If he loses that one early, that's certainly a problem. Again, it would be incredible if Walter wins. He never, never, ever beat Hunter in a tournament. Watcher Walter Dome won't help too much. Could even sell it, I think. Well, then he sees uh, the stock of the items. I think that's nice. Lots of arches again. This expansion is paying off. Investing into more income seems to be the right choice. But we do have a new engine of war here. And a shop coming up, but we have the first big battle. And Hunter has a supply lead in the... Items go to Hunter. <laughs> he was camping there the entire time. But he has the alchemist advantage, but nothing else. TP out. 
close to level 3. Keeper man Hunter has so many advantages. This engine of war is in a horrible position. The shop has been cancelled. Yes, there is an expo now. But I guess he's just pushing this down. A player's forces are under attack. That's bad. That's real bad. Nice heal scroll. That had a lot of value. Had to cancel this. So, two base versus one base. Keeper. Okay, now closing in, but it's half a level. Maybe acid bomb level 2 can make a difference. But on the other side, level 2 treants. Really good either. There's no hunter's hall. Mm, oh, the Murlocs are attacking now as well. But Walter's units, that has a bomb for sweet. For protection though. Look, preventing the kill. That was nice. Manhunter, how he never gives up. Despite... Oh, no TP anymore. Where are the dispels? Not coming way too late. And that must be the kill. There's no consumable on this alchemist either. Ah, oh, he's not committing to it. Has no, no entangle anymore. Now detonates. Oh, there is an acid bomb soon. But seriously, Hunter's archers are dropping low. He committed so much to these heroes. The potion now. Yes, another heal potion needs to get some more kills here. But I think he's over uh, underestimating the damage. Of Walter's army. Uh, way too many archers survived. A player's forces are under attack. But still no expo. That only goes for Hunter. So much production now. Six archers queued. Level 3 3 for Walter. Invis potion on the keeper. Alright. He's actually two levels down on the alchemist. Can he get this up now? A player's forces are under attack. Still no hunter so. Two more experience, or oh, this will help. So much. Finally, Mercs. A mauler would actually be great. Costs a lot of supply. It's so low in lumber. He has to get this up. Where are all the wisps? Hurry up. Okay. It seems like Hunter is running away. Has good experience, catches up in levels, has a lot more supply. A player's forces are under attack. But Walter gets the expo up. In the end, will it again be Hunter prevailing? Or is this an insane comeback from Walter? No tier 3 on either side. Nature's Blessing though. Only for Hunter. This makes the Treants a lot better. So let's check the inventory. Mana Potion. Heal Scroll. Protection Scroll. Hunter the only of the two players. Going for the Protection Scrolls all the time. No upgrades on either side. An inventory here. Heal scroll, mana potion. Where's the alchemist? There we go. Also a mana potion. He wants to win this with spells, but it's a 20 supply deficit. Let's go. Detonates in the back. Not going for the scroll protection yet. And this, these falls of nature now with seven armor. So, so, so good. 
Walter has no advantage anymore. And it looked so good for him. Heal scroll use. That was the second last consumable. And Hunter is going for Engines of War even. He is pushing into the lower bracket semi-final. So close. Only a mistake can prevent that now. Or a disconnect, I guess. Don't want to jinx him. So many dead mates. Mana is completely gone for Hunter after this summon. But this looks one-sided. Kind of even splits his forces to attack the Expo and the Artist at the same time. Engine of War will soak up some damage. And it's a 30 supply difference now. Still has an invul. Not even Hero Focus will be going his way. And the shop in the back. And that is the expansion kill. Walter on one gold mine against two. Four, three heroes against... Uh, three, four against four, three. But this supply is all that matters now. Engine of War, maybe not the best investment, but it soak up damage. How is Walter supposed to come back into this? Losing one after... Uh, one archer after another! And Hunter... Surviving skills like Bear grills, man. 1-0 down in lower bracket round 1, winning it 2-1. 1-0 down in lower bracket round 2, winning it. So he's the first player in the lower bracket semi-final. He will be joined by either Hitman or OC. So we're gonna have Peru versus America, that's for sure. Cruncher and HTRT in the winner bracket final. But man, Hunter stays alive. Crazy. Hunter's Day is finished. We have one more series. I need a little break here. And I'm sending you into that right away. In five minutes, decision time. Hitman versus OC.